Hello, and welcome to the show. We started this week's Ferris episode with Volvo Brickfan on GTA 5, messing around a little bit with the AI. Sometimes, though, the AI fight back, and sometimes the AI have a dump truck, and they win. Yes, that is a really big push against the Paragon that then gets... Not only has it been pushed across the road, it then gets wedged against a tree, uh, quite well stuck. I don't actually know if the driver of the dump truck was killed. Either. Whatever happened, that is not going to be moving from there anytime soon. Sticking with it, GTA 5, and a small, well, a small bump in the road, followed by an AI car, leads to a banshee in a lot of trouble. Yes, we have seen this a little bit sometimes. It never happened to me personally, but lampposts can fall over, lampposts can capture cars. In this case, with the banshee with the bonnet stuck open, the lamppost has actually gone under the bonnet, like just hooked on the car. You just can't get the car free. Because, well, the lamppost is in there in the way. Uh, Carol on GTA 5 with... I mean, you couldn't do this if you tried. Just driving around launches off of the uh, kind of slip road area. <laughs> perfectly land in the back of a dump truck. It's just amazing. Amazing indeed. Uh, Hammer up next on GTA 5. is playing around with a tow truck. He's trying to get the uh, tow hitch to lift up. But he's having issues getting that to work. The weird thing is... An AI decides to steal the car that's being towed. Yes, that is a random AI has just run across to nick the jester? I, I'm not 100% sure on that one. It's very, very peculiar. But there we go. Uh, Shadow Wolf up next is on uh, GTA Vice City. Has a, or has been chased, gets into an ambulance to go and drive away from the mayhem. From the mess that is going on. The thing is, first corner, typical foul race, manages to roll the ambulance heading towards the water. Now, goes to bail out at the last second. In doing so, uh, the, the ambulance gets freezed in midair. I mean, it has avoided going in the drink. The player is, is okay, hasn't gone in the drink, and is able to jump to, I guess, to safety. The ambulance is just stuck there. Who needs physics? Really, who needs who needs physics in any of this when you can have a magical ambulance? I'm not quite sure what's going on with the lights, but never mind. Uh, we're on to a way out with Mac Daddy up next. Uh, so this, I guess, a car chase going on. One player shooting out the back of the vehicle, the other one controlling it. But it's watch the police cars, yes, because even this game, while not exactly what you would call a driving game, the Ferrari's police departments are here. Yep. <laughs> that is launched off the back of one of their cars onto the player vehicle. The Falrose Police Department, it never fails. It never fails to find a way into a game. Uh, Crossy Juggler up next on Horizon 4 is racing with some of the off-road buggies, racing the mini Dakar thing, uh, heading across the golf course at the moment here. We come up towards the jumpers. Things get a little bit connected with another AI vehicle trying to get out of control. Both of them are quite slow leaving this jump. An AI further back isn't. That promptly lands on the roof of the mini and gets carried along quite nicely. It does slip off when we get to a corner. It's just a lovely positioned car hat right there. Trailblazer up next on Wreckfest with a limo uh, demolition derby. Now, these things are pretty brutal at the best of times. However, this is an absolutely fantastic hit right on the door. The roof and door of the yellow limo. Doesn't kill it. Would have been good if that had been like the wrecking, the takedown hit, if you like. But that's a fantastic, fantastic, slightly lucky, well-aimed, whatever you want to call it. A shot right there. A robo player on World of Tanks is nudging the wreck of a tank out of the way. He's trying to get a good shot, I guess, on the enemies when the game just decides, you know what? You should be a very long way in the air. Now, I don't know much about tanks. I'm pretty sure that's not how they work, as what's left of it is now spiralling and spinning. While that's definitely not how things are supposed to have gone. Very, very definitely. Steel Guns up next on F1 2019 is racing one of the classic Ferraris. Now we've all made similar mistakes, gets a bit too much curb and goes for a spin. Nothing too unusual about that one. <laughs> the car kind of rotates around and comes to a rest. Yep, that's the Ferrari stuck. It is beached, perfectly positioned on the curb in such a way that there is nothing you can do about getting it going. So it was one wheel is just about touching the ground, but it's not enough to actually move the car. It's yeah, very very well wedged. You can <laughs> you see the steering is wiggling. Uh, you drive from forward, reverse, anything. I think the wheel's actually now stopped touching the ground in all of that. Uh, Welsh toast up next on R Factor Two with a race with some classic Clarens this time. Things go wrong at the chicane, and then things go even more wrong as the cars start climbing over one another. 
It's that famous crash with the 911 Cup cars that end up on top of each other. Well, they're trying to replicate it here with McLaren. Admittedly, not quite as a clean attempt as the as the Porsche Cup cars, but still, we have ended up with one parked on top of the other, and all four of them uh, quite stuck. There is a little bit of recovery though. There's a bit of teamwork, almost managing to pull the car off the top, and a bit more bouncing around, <laughs> and they do eventually all get released. It's not the best way to start a race, although to be fair, four to one cars at this particular track is always likely to be dangerous. Brazen Miscreant is the final clip here on iRacing, with quite possibly the funniest crash damage I've ever seen from a car on iRacing. <laughs> What has gone on with the suspension? Why have we made antennas on a Formula Renault, I think it is? I, <laughs> the car still drives. No steering, of course. No, the wheels are wiggling around in the air. If I saw this on Robot Wars, I wouldn't be surprised. It's glorious. It's fantastic. The new damage... I don't know if it's a new damage model. I haven't played iRacing for a while. It's working well, whatever damage model that is. That is absolutely how crashes should be to be fair. Anyway, that is going to be it for this week's episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Fail Race Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all the rules and how to submit them. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.